Okay, this is Larry. <clears throat> and I just finished my second appointment with the dietitian and the exercise person. And it didn't go well at all. I went in there to see the, um, first off was the, um, exercise specialist. He told me what I needed to be doing, what I hadn't been doing, what I needed to start doing. So I, I had that coming. But then when I went into the dietitian, crap hit the fan. Um, first off, um, in the last month, I have lost four and a half pounds. And I lost that first four pounds within the first couple weeks. Uh, the last two weeks, I have lost 0.5 pounds. Very, very disappointing. And they're pretty much changing my entire diet again. All of my protein I'm going to be having is going to have to be lean protein. Lean protein isn't going to be terribly cheap. It's kind of expensive, and we're kind of on a shoestring budget right now. Anyway, we're in the process of moving, so it's money is going to be tight. So I'm going to have to go with that. The biggest thing is, is I was eating 2,550 calories a day. That's dropped almost a thousand. I'm down to 1,600 calories a day. The way they told me to do it is, is to have a lean protein like chicken breast or flank steak or sirloin or something like that with a lot of vegetables, which I really don't like to begin with. I'm pretty much going to have that three times a day. Um, and then today I have some more protein for my snack. So it's it's all everybody anybody who lives who watches this. I mean, if you if you're a God fearing person, pray for me because this is just going to be almost impossible. I went from. 4,500 calories a day when I wasn't doing very good, 3,500 calories a day before that, down to around 25 or 2,800 calories a day, and I've never been as low as 1,600 calories a day, I mean, the only one good thing is they said I can pretty much eat pickle, dill pickles, um, cucumbers with a little bit of salt on them. As much as I want them, that that'll be my free snack. So, they're probably gonna take the pickles away next time, you know, because there's too much sodium. But that's where I am right now. Um, I'm encouraged. I am hopeful that I can do this, but it's gonna be rough. It's I had not. I mean, the reason why I'm getting this surgery is so it'll be easier for me to diet. This is a diet that I, uh, I just, I don't know if I can do it. I really don't. I hate to be all bummed about this, you know, it's supposed to be positive, you know, for people who are watching this and are going to go through it. I'm sure I can do it. I don't know if I'll be able to drop it all the way down to 1600 calories, but I'm going to eat a lot more grilled chicken and a lot more lean pork chops, maybe, and some sirloin or whatever. I love steak, but. I'm going to do my best to stick with that, but I don't quite know if I'll get it down to 1600 Um I do know that this is the way to go. Getting this surgery is the best thing for me. Um, I, I, there's, I will die without it. I mean, I'm 400 plus pounds. You can't do that and expect to live past 45 or 50. And I want to live a very long, happy life for my wife. I love her a lot. I want to give her a kid someday. I don't want to die when that kid's still in preschool. So, um, I'm definitely going to do it. I'm, I, I am motivated to do it. It's just, at this point, it's seeming almost impossible. So, uh, I'm sorry this has been kind of a negative video. I apologize to y'all who want to be entertained or whatever, and they see this nothing but negative here. But, uh, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to stay on this diet. I'm going to get this surgery. I'm going to lose all this weight, and I'm going to be... 180 pounds in a couple years. Uh, thanks again. This is Larry, and I'll get back with you whenever I have another update, probably next month sometime. Wish me luck. Bye.